Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hafiz and today's video I'm going to show you how to play your Game Gear games and your Sega Mega Drive games on your PC. If you are new to the channel, do click the subscribe button and help us reach our goal of getting 1000 subscribers. Thank you. When we talk about retro gaming, we can never forget about Sega, the company behind the iconic Sonic the Hedgehog. Sega is a Japanese video game company that exploded in popularity in the 1990s. At one point, they even outsold Nintendo, but sadly, it went from selling 30 million Sega Genesis console in 1983 to only about 3 million units for its Dreamcast. In this video, I will show you how you can play your Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive, and Game Gear games on your PC. Let's start. Use the first link in the description to download Fusion 364. I have downloaded it onto my desktop. Now, use WinDraw or 7-Zip to unzip the downloaded file. Here I'm using WinDRA, select the file and drag it onto your desktop. After it's done, delete the zip file, we won't be needing it anymore. Fusion is our Sega emulator. The best part about this emulator is that there's no installation needed. I've created several folders inside here to help you organize your ROMs. Getting your ROMs ROMs are digital copy of your games. ROMs can be obtained by using a dumper to extract the ROMs from the original cartridge. Alternatively, you can download it online. I can't tell you where to get these ROMs from, but if you do a simple Google search on Google or archive.org, you can easily find them. Master System games will be a .ms, Mega Drive games or Genesis games will be a .md, while Game Gear ROMs will be on .gg. Here you have some Sega ROMs. Copy and paste these ROMs into the respective folder. Paste the Game Gear ROMs into the Game Gear folder. Master Systems into Master Systems folder and Mega Drive or Genesis into the Mega Drive folder. This will help you better organize your ROMs. Alright, let's open the Fusion Emulator. Double click on Fusion.exe. As always, let's start with configuring the controls for the various systems. Go to Option, select Control. I'm using an Xbox One controller so everything has been preset by Windows. The top panel will be for the 3 and 6 button Mega Drive control, while the bottom panel is for the 2 button configuration for the Game Gear and Master Systems. You can also manually assign the button as you wish. Once you are done, click Apply and click OK to save the settings. Alright, let's play some Game Gear games. Select the Game Gear ROMs that you want to play and click it, drag it onto the Fusion Emulator. The game will load almost instantly. Let's load Columns. Columns is a puzzle game similar to Tetris, but with a slight difference. In this game, you need to clear jewels by aligning the jewels of the same color. Released in 1990 on the Game Gear, this was 8 years before the Game Boy Color was released. To change game, start by pausing the game. Now, select the ROMs that you want to play, click it and drag it onto the Fusion Emulator. Let's load the GG Shinobi, one of my favorite Game Gear games. This was released in 1991. It is a side-scrolling platform ninja adventure game. Let's play the Master System games. Select the Master System games that you want to play. Click on it and drag it onto the Fusion Emulator. Let's play the Michael Jackson Moonwalker which was released in 1990. It is a side-scrolling game that is based on the Moonwalker movie. The music in this game uses an 8-bit version of Michael Jackson's iconic songs such as Smooth Criminal, Billie Jean and many more. The game runs smoothly, sound is in sync and everything is responsive. Another good game to check out on the Master System is The Shadow Dancer. Released in 1989, similar to the Shinobi game, you play as a young ninja with his pet dog fighting against the group of terrorists. This game is super challenging but it's worth checking it out. Next, let's play some Mega Drive and Genesis games. Select the game ROMs that you want to play, click it and drag it onto the Fusion Emulator. Let's play Comic Zone which is a platform action game released in 1985. It is a unique fighting game where you fight from one comic panel to the next one to complete each chapters. Even though the Mega Drive and Genesis was discontinued in 1987, there are still fan-made games being released up to today. Here we have Coffee Crisis which was released in 2017, 20 years after the Mega Drive was discontinued. One of my favorite newly released Mega Drive games that you definitely need to check out would be the Xeno Crisis. Released in 2019, it is an arena shooting game where you go from room to room to eliminate aliens. If you enjoy playing the Contra series, you will love this game. It has an awesome game soundtrack and this game has been released on the Nintendo Switch and the PS4. By researching to make this video, I realized that there's some issue with the full screen mode. It doesn't seem to work for me. The Fusion Emulator also plays the X32 and the Sega CD-ROMs. And there you go guys, that's how you play your Sega games on your computer. If you have enjoyed this video, do consider giving me this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. With that, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.